Gasping fever is short of breath and nine days into his struggle. Former Army analyst Clint Watley finally went to the ER at a D.C. hospital. How are you doing right now? Like right now talking to you, I have to take pauses and get my breath back. Nurses plan to send him home, but finally agreed to test him for the new coronavirus because his blood oxygen was low. I've never had a flu where I felt like this. This is like nothing I've ever had before. This is not the flu. Days later, he is still waiting for the results. Doctor says that if my shortness of breath is severe or worsens, that I should go to urgent care. A fever in and of itself is not a reason to go to the ER. Dr. Jeffrey Mount Varner is not involved in Clint Watley's care, but he's a Harvard educated ER doc from Prince George's who has taken to Facebook to try and reassure people. You can have symptoms, you can be miserable, but you can also survive this at home without hospital intervention if you're not really sick. Bruce, you are absolutely true. 98% of us will go on and do just fine. Watch your symptoms. If, you're, if your shortage of breath increases, and by the way, that's the most important symptom, persistent chest pain, confusion, or bluish lips. But Watley still wishes he could have gotten tested much earlier. If things had moved faster, we could have gotten a more realistic number of how many people were sick. And been more ready to fight back. Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.